Have you ever heard of weaponized incompetence? It's a term that's been gaining traction in blogs and on online articles, and it got us to talk. It. Saw a lot of this on social media mm -hmm. too. So essentially, it's pretending to be bad at something or that someone else may be better at it in the house in order to get out of doing something like household chores. So we brought in certified life coach Marlene Boas to talk a little bit about this. Help us navigate this if it's something that's happening in your house. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's happening in my house. Of but course, in a lot of households, you know, things can sometimes fall on one person's shoulders Absolutely. rather than the other person. So I've been married like 46 years or something. I don't know. You quit counting at some point. <laughs> but over the, you know, with the children and everything, it does shift. And certainly there are things that I don't do that I know my husband would like me to do, but he's really better at it. But we have balanced it and negotiated, and we have a very, very sort of equal share in household responsibilities. And that's really what you're shooting for like that's right you want things to be equal it's not right. that everybody has to be great at each thing it's just let's let's divide this but let's say for instance you're in a household where you you are perfectly willing to load up the dishwasher in fact you load up the dishwasher and then you learn that you've loaded it up all wrong every single time you learn that you've loaded it up all wrong were you in and my that, kitchen <laughs> David <laughs> So then, like, you're hesitant to, but you still load up the dishwasher. I don't know. Like, really, it's it's about communication, <laughs> is isn't it? A, is this, are you asking for a friend? <laughs> or, asking uh, for a friend. Okay, all right. So nice. let me tell you how we resolve that in my household. Okay. My husband likes jigsaw puzzles, and he likes to get things just so, and he likes them all very clean and organized. And, and I'm more like, put them in, let's go on to the next thing. Mm -hmm. So he's better at it, and he cares more about it, so it's become his job. But it's not because... I just feigned incompetence. It's because we resolved it by talking about it. I'll cook and shop and everything, and right. you clean up. Right. So then it's more balanced. Right. So it's really about just communicating and Absolutely. working it out. Absolutely. Right. Now, every household is different, and every some people are not experiencing this at all. But you even pointed out in some of your research that you were able to dig up that in the pandemic, there was a lot of notice put on what women were shouldering through all of this with educating household chores, still working from home, and all of that. I remember washing the groceries when we first brought them home. Right. Yeah. So it did fall a lot more on women. And so you have to have those conversations. If you feel that you have an inequitable share of the household responsibilities, you have to bring it up. But not talk just about the chores that are being done because it's something deeper in the relationship. And that's where the work needs to be done. Well, and at some point it becomes hurtful. Because right. if someone's intentionally like Not doing saying, oh, I don't know how to do this, you do it so much better, and, and that puts the load on someone else, that that has to speak about how much you care about that person. That's right, that's right. Or it's easier if I'll do it myself. You know, that kind of thing is because it's such a hassle to have you do it. But then by the same token, you can't be overly critical. Of that work that's like loading the dishwasher. Right. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going to be in trouble friend. when I get yeah, we're asked to do that for my friend. Exactly. <laughs> for my friend. Right. But you have to, so <laughs> if you choose to, you know, clean the toilet, let's say, right. and you don't, you use a toilet brush instead of a toothbrush, then you have to accept that. So you might have to adjust your standards because if you're overly critical, you're going to get stuck doing it all. Right. right. So this is twofold too. You kind of have to twofold. look at yourself and what you're doing. What are some other tips to help negotiate, or not negotiate, but uh, try and figure this out with your partner. I think in any householder, and by the way, this can also happen in workplaces and in friendships. Yes. Yes, you're very right. Right. So if you if you feel like you're doing more than the work, you might want to like list them all out because there are things that I do that I know that my husband doesn't necessarily know I do and there are things that he does that I'm not aware of. You know, so if you take the time to really reflect on what you're both doing and sit down and have a conversation, not when you're frustrated, not right. when you're mad, but you go like, we have to resolve this because it's, the burden is getting heavy for me and I don't want to become resentful because it's going to damage our relationship. And that's what happens. That is so true. Once so you good. cross into this resentful thing, then yeah. it becomes a very difficult thing. And it's harder to communicate. It is harder to communicate. And then it's not about the chore. It's then it's about a whole bunch of other stuff. A whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. You are so wise, Marlene. Thank we you. We love it when you're here with us. <laughs> All right, you can join our conversation with Marlene monthly here on PTL. We always enjoy our conversations with you. We learn things, and I feel better now. <laughs> All right, thanks.